I'm going to do a short demonstration instruction on um, shading and shadowing just in a, you know sort of a simple way to use with these entangles. Um, I'm drawing this upside down so that the camera can see it easily so <laughs> forgive me if it kind of gets weird. Okay so say this is your ground and you have an object. Here's a circle. First we want to imagine where our light source is coming from. A sun, lamp, whatever. So let's say this is the sun, right? We have the sun coming here. Where is that sun going to hit and make light on the object and where is the sun not going to hit? So let's see, we have the sun coming down and it's kind of just coming and hitting this part of the sun, right? Of the ball. So that part's gonna be light, right? It's gonna be bright. The other side is gonna be in shadow because the sun is not hitting it. So we're gonna first just put in some shadows here. Now, shading can get really complicated if when you talk about reflective light and, and all that, but we're just gonna keep it really simple just to, to be able to add some shading to our zentangles. Um, so let's just have a little bit of shadow under there we know this is going to happen. We're going in the shape of the object because your shadow is going to take on the shape of whatever object you have. It's not going to be cut straight across unless you have a, it's some sort of you know disc circle shape. But this is a ball. So we'll keep with the shape of the object like this. And you know obviously we'd also have some shadow out here that the ball would be casting onto the surface. Um, and then it, it works well like that. You know, we still already get a little bit of a sense of a ball shape like that. But if you just do a little bit of smudging, now you can do it just with your finger. Um, it works just fine. Or you can do it with this like a little smudging tool. Um, and we'll just kind of smudge this pencil here to, you know, make it not look so much like pencil marks. And that will kind of fade out as you smudge it. It will fade out onto the surface and we'll just keep with the shape here of the ball and just fade it out, fade it out. Whereas you get closer to the top of the ball, the shadow is less and less until right here we have pure light, pure sun shining down. And then as we go down, it's less and less and less light until right at the bottom underneath is all shadow. And then our shadow out here if we want to to do that. So see suddenly you have, you don't have a circle on your paper, you have a ball that's round and you can see that round definition in there. So that is the first kind of example and um, I'll do another one, a different shape.